Now that we've spent some time covering PHP MyAdmin, we're going to move on to the upgrade of PHP version 4 to PHP version 5. Let's open our shell and do an RPM query all. Grep PHP, you'll see that the packages that are installed are based on version 4, but for the sake of using what's considered to be the latest production, although 4.4 is considered still production, we want to take you to version 5 and then continue our studies of PHP integration with MySQL. So we'd, we'd rather write queries within PHP based on the version 5 software. Once we've upgraded to version 5, we will have a CLI binary or a command line interface binary provided by the PHP 5 package. We'll also have a matching MySQL package which permits PHP to interface to MySQL since it provides a driver. And there will be also a replacement Apache 2 module called mod underscore PHP 5. You'll also notice that we won't need the PHP 4 session package because version 5 is compiled with session capabilities by default. So as a result, we won't need to install that package. But there are some other goodies such as the OpenSSL package, the MB string package that we'll download so that we can get rid of the error that you see here, the MB string PHP extension wasn't found, and once we pull those packages, we should have no problems. So let's proceed with the steps to upgrading your system from 4 to 5. Let's label this section upgrade Suzy PHP 4 to PHP 5. Now this is Suzy version 10, and what we're going to do works for version 10 as well as for version 9.3. We're going to be using the packages for version 9.3. So get packages for Suzy 9.3 unless you find corresponding packages for Suzy 10. But the packages for 9.3 works well. No differently than the packages we've downloaded from MySQL thus far. They were originally compiled for Suzy 9 and they work properly on the Suzy 10 since not much has changed. So we need to go and get those packages, but before we do so, we want to uninstall what's currently installed and ensure that there's no longer PHP support in Apache. So step one, uninstall existing PHP 4 star packages, which includes the Apache mod package and so forth. Let's go to a shell and execute an RPM E, and we'll remove Apache 2 dash mod underscore PHP 4. We'll also follow that up with a removal of PHP 4 dash MySQL. And if that goes successfully, we'll also remove PHP 4 dash session, followed by PHP 4 itself, the main package, which is really 4 dash 4. Let's go ahead and see these packages removed. And so far, so good. So let's confirm that the packages have all been removed by rerunning the RPM query all grep PHP. This will tell us if the system's clean. It is clean, and it we'll go ahead and rerun an RC Apache 2 restart to have Apache restarted without support for PHP based on version 4. If we execute a which PHP from the shell, you'll see that it turns up blank because there is no. PHP binary utility command line interface utility in the path that tells us that PHP is no longer on the system and additionally from the browser if we attempt to refresh localhost PHP my admin rather than Apache processing the page it returns an, an access forbidden because it doesn't know how to handle files with the suffix of .php so PHP support has been removed from the system let's go ahead and get the packages now one reliable repository that we can use to download a package so get packages from the following URL one we're gonna go to rpmfind.net to get the mm package this is a requirement mm-1.3.0 star and two we'll get PHP 5 star as well as Apache mod Apache 2 mod package from the kernel's website which is mirrors.kernel.org slash suzy i386 
and we'll take it to this directory and then download from the 9.3 folder. So first we want to go to rpmfind.net. The reason why we need this mm package is because it's a requirement of the base PHP package. We'll download all the packages and show you that they are requirements. Now in our browser let's instruct it to allow us or to prompt us for a download location every single time a package is downloaded rather than assuming that it should go to the home directory. And let's exit this interface. It barely fits within the 8 by 6. Let's just get this in focus. And then we'll navigate to rpmfind.net where we'll search for the mm package. Again, if you attempt to install PHP version 5 without the mm package being installed on the system, it'll fail. In fact, an rpm query all grep mm will reveal whether or not it's currently installed and it shows that it's not. So we'll need to pull it down. Now, the R while the rpm find page comes up, let's navigate to the kernel website that we just gave you, which is mirrors.kernel.org to proceed with downloading the appropriate PHP 5 packages. This will take us to the kernel site, and here we're able to select from different versions of the SUSE distro. Again, if you select version 10, which is the current version that we're running, you won't find the PHP 5 packages that are requ required to build the system. You'll find updates for some packages, but not all packages. So for now, rely upon the 9.3 packages. We'll go to 9.3, followed by SUSE, then i586, and then we'll search for Apache 2 and it's a mod package PHP 5. This is the package that we want. Notice the minor revisions. It's 5.03-14.4. You tend to want to match the minor revisions with the other packages that you download because it indicates that they were updated usually for security purposes at the same time and typically they're dependent on one another so if you download one with a revision of let's say 503-14.2 and the remainder of your packages are 14.4 you're going to be unlikely to install the Apache 2 mod that we're downloading right now. We're gonna save this in a new directory we'll create a home PHP 5 to indicate that this is the PHP directory we lost the file name so let's click on download again we'll save it to disk browse for folders then navigate to PHP 5 and then we'll save it and let's see what's going on with the RPM find this hasn't come down yet this is still taking a while let's try to connect to the website again and while that continues and the MM package may also be in this directory as well on the mirror site we'll search for it momentarily let's keep searching in fact, an mm dash might tell us whether or not it's there. And mm seems to be a part of a lot of these packages, but we're getting closer to the alphabet m, so let's see what happens momentarily. There it is. So we can download the mm package from here. So we'll just cancel the rpm find website and update our documentation, which says get mm from the kernel website. So we'll move this into the next line indicating that we should get mm from this particular site. RPM finds just a generic repository which tends to stock RPMs for the popular distros. So we'll get our RP, the mm from the mirror site rather than from rpmfind.net. We'll save this to the same directory of PHP5 and let's proceed to the PHP5 section by typing in PHP5 and you'll see all of the packages that we can download for the system. We don't need all of them. For example, here's a package which provides BZ2 support. Unless your code makes references to BZIP version 2 compressed files, you shouldn't need this particular package. So unless you're handling compressed files or intend to compress data received through PHP 5 and render it into BZIP version 2, you wouldn't need it and ditto for calendar and the other types. We do need the base package however, PHP 5. This particular package provides the PHP 5 binary and the base files. 
So we'll need PHP 5. Let's see what else we have on our list. So we need this. We've gotten the Apache mod. And there are other packages that are of interest. If you tend to connect to sites that rely upon some of the curl libraries, you'll download curl. If you use other databases such as DBase, then those packages are available as well. But we're not interested in those, neither are we interested in IMAP. We are interested, however, in the MB string package to get rid of the error that PHP MyAdmin returns regarding the lack of support for MB string. That'll be installed momentarily. We do need the MySQL package to provide the hook into MySQL. This is the driver that allows PHP to talk to MySQL. So when you write code that performs queries, it relies upon this particular package. And there are other packages such as curses support, ODBC. You may want OpenSSL in the event that you do anything with encryption. So let's take OpenSSL as well. And the pair packages generally are required for a lot of PHP enabled applications. So we'll get the pair package as well. And there are others such as SNMP, SOAP, etc. Those are not of interest. We've gotten the ones that are of interest and we can move on. If you do intend to support gzip compatible compression, the zlib package is also available in the 9.3 repository. So again, to provide PHP 5 support for version 10 of SUSE, just download the packages from the 9.3 directory. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our PHP 5 directory to see what files are available. There are quite a few files and again the base package is the one that you see here so if we rpm query package list php5-5 it'll dump to the screen all of the included documentation and key files including the php5 command line interface binary which functions similarly to Perl in that you can process PHP related scripts from the shell environment which also includes backgrounded scripts that are run from a cron environment and so forth so you can use the PHP 5 interpreter as a command line interface alternative to Perl, Python and other compatible command line interface programs. There's an INI file for the CLI or the command line interface binary which is independent of the PHP binary that can be run from the web server interface. But the web server interface will rely upon the module that we've downloaded. So it won't use the PHP 5 binary directly. It'll use rather the module, which provides much, much more robust support. And as a result, it'll operate much quicker. But in the event that you have scripts that you want to write because you're familiar with PHP, you can certainly write them and run the PHP 5 binary from the command line even with SQL integration or MySQL integration. So you may have scripts that connect to your data source, download a result set using the MySQL plugins and perform operations on them or perform other DML type operations such as select insert updates and deletes from a shell based environment. So that's that package. Now we did mention we need the MM package. If we attempt to install PHP 5-5, the base package, it complains that libmm so.13 or this particular module is not available and this module is provided by the mm package we've already done the research so let's go ahead and rpm uvh mm and once mm's installed we can then install php5-5 you'll see that it'll install nicely now we have php support on the system if we execute a which php5 you can see that it's in user bin. This is the binary which we'll be looking at and we can then proceed to installing the remainder of the packages in a sequential fashion using the shells logic. So let's go ahead and install PHP 5 MB string and if that completes successfully we'll install PHP 5 or in fact we'll do Apache and if that completes successfully we'll then do PHP 5 MySQL followed by PHP 5 peer and then we'll follow that up with the OpenSSL package PHP 5 OpenSSL. This should cover all of the packages. Let's give this a run. So far so good and notice that it says the peer package or zlib is needed by the PHP 5 peer package. So this means we'd need to download the zlib package if we wanted peer support. 
that's not a problem. The ZLive package is right here, so we'll pull it and install it, and then reattempt to install the pair package. Again, you don't, you may not necessarily see the need for the pair package now, but as you attempt to download and install, or as you attempt to implement PHP-based applications, you'll see the need for the pair packages later on. It's RPM UVH PHP 5 ZLib, followed by RPM UVH PHP 5 Peer. And let's see, and we didn't get to OpenSSL, so let's do OpenSSL as well because of the error condition. So let's go ahead and do PHP 5, open SSL, and these three should be installed nicely. Excellent. So before we leave this section and begin using PHP 5 and integrating it with MySQL, we should confirm that all of these packages have been installed. Well, RPM, query all, grep, mm, that should reveal the mm package, so that's checked off the list. Well, RPM query all, or we can just query dire directly. So we could query Apache 2 mod underscore PHP 5. This will tell us if it's installed. Missed the 2 in the package name, so let's go ahead and run that again. That's installed. That's LSLTR, RPM query PHP 5 MB string. We don't need the entire name. And let's go ahead and confirm PHP 5, MySQL, and then confirm RPM Q PHP 5, MySQL, or in fact, OpenSSL. We did it MySQL, so OpenSSL, followed by PHP 5, peer, and last but not least, PHP 5 ZLib. These should all return packages. Now ZLib, we put Z, ZLiz, ZLib, and they're all installed. So everything's installed. Our system's now ready to run PHP version 5. And what we will want to do at this stage is restart Apache so that it reloads the modules for PHP 5 by executing an RC Apache restart, or Apache 2 that is. This will cause the newly re installed modules to be loaded into Apache's space. And you'll notice that in etc Apache 2, under the conf.d directory, let's go to conf.d, there is a new file placed in there for PHP 5 by virtue of installing the Apache 2 module for PHP 5. And this particular file just contains the application suffixes and, suffixes and types, including the extensions and the directory indexes that are supported index.php 5 4 and 3 and so on and this is just a condition which says if the module exists then add support for these types and these suffixes and directory indices so PHP supports available before we move on to the next section let's just ensure that we do still have access to PHP my admin by navigating a local host PHP my admin and because the browser is um, configured with the password and username, it's cached, so we weren't prompted for authentication. If we want to confirm that authentication support still exists, just simply close the browser, re-enter, and reload localhost PHP my admin. You'll see that it prompts us. It will then accept the password in clear text, of course. And you'll notice that the MB string error that once existed no longer exists. We still have access to our list of databases, and now we have support for PHP version 5. So now that it's on the system, we're free to explore the ways that we can connect PHP version 5, both command line interface and web-based module with the MySQL 5 DBMS.